Hello everyone and welcome to this pick a card video. This is a relationship spread pick a card video. So as it's February I'm going to be doing two pick a cards. This one which is a relationship spread so it's basically for people in a relationship. And then the next one is going to be how to find love spread coming up to Valentine's. So we've got four piles today and each pile has five cards in them. This is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three and pile number four. You can pick your pile now and in the description will be a timestamp to where that um, pile starts or you can choose your pile when we put some crystals on in a minute. Um, but before we actually get into the video I just wanted to say I have a new Facebook page and group and an Instagram page that is associated with like tarot card readings, oracle card readings, um, things with crystals, meditation, that kind of thing. Um, they are very, very new um, accounts like uh, on the Facebook and Instagram. So there's not too much activity on them right now, but there will be. I've got a lot of things planned that I want to upload on the the accounts and advertising free and also paid and private readings um, so I'll leave a link to the Facebook page and group down below I tried to link the Instagram account to my last video but I couldn't switch account on my computer so I couldn't get the link but instead of linking it I'll just write the name, the Instagram name, and you can, if you want, you can go, if you're interested in those like sort of things, then please go and show it some love. Um, the Facebook group and page is for people to share what they want on there as well, anything that they're interested in to do with those topics. So go and show it some love and share it with people who will be interested, and that would be awesome. Thank you. So I'm going to put some crystals on the card. So we've got a heart, a clear quartz, a moonstone, rose quartz, and carnelian. So if you have chosen your pile, let's get started with pile number one. Okay, so this is pile number one, and as I said, each pile has five cards in it. And as we go through the cards, I'll tell you what order they go in and what they represent. So the first card is this one, the four, and this represents you. So that's what it looks like. And this is meant to be you and your position in the relationship. So the four card. So with this deck in particular, the Fool is a female, as you could see, even though it can be read for a male also, but I think um, I think it is for a female. Um, I see a very kind of carefree, young uh, type of energy with this card, and the beauty in this card, in the figure, I just think is breathtaking. It's a very pretty card. I see a lot of kind of beauty and effortless beauty. It's, you know, it's effortless to, to be that beautiful. Um, I feel with this, with the beauty of it as well, that it's inside and out. So it's not just on the outside, you know, it's on the inside as well. Um, but I think you could be a bit of a risk taker. You can see that she's right on the edge of this, you know, statue type cliff and she's relying on these ribbons that are being held by birds to keep her from falling, to prevent her from falling. Um, I think she's kind of pushing a lot, in my opinion. She's like very, she's like really, really on the edge. She's leaning forward. She's... She's pushing her luck. So 
she's relying on these birds to prevent her from falling. Um, and I feel that this is you in your relationship, so I think you might be a little bit carefree, a little bit of a risk taker. Don't really think about the consequences, you know, what they might be after. I think you might rely on your you know, partner to catch you when you're about to fall, to save you. You've kind of, I think, being this way and having someone there to, to be able to kind of catch you when you fall and rely on gives you a bit more freedom to kind of be that way and act that way. Um, when you're in a relationship, though, I think you really, really love it. Um, you really excited about love and being in a relationship however sometimes with this card can come commitment issues um, or problems that are on your side so that could be due to past experience or it just it could be to do with maybe you've never found the right partner that you want to actually commit to and settle down um, but overall I get a really kind of happy excited young carefree energy with this card even the little fox in it that's looking up to her I just think it's quite young it looks like a young fox I like it I like this card so that is card one to represent you this is card number two to represent your partner so it is the Emperor so with the Emperor I feel like this is a mature energy. Now that might be age or it could be just like mature, you know, mentally, like they've, they've matured <laughs> well. Um, they are stable. Um, I feel like they're very stable. This person in here is very kind of still and straight and they're holding together, they're in their hand, this this you know ball so to me it just looks like they're holding it quite confidently as well actually like they've got it all together um so yeah i think they're definitely very stable committed as well comes from this card and usually the person who gets this card likes a long lasting relationship when they fall in love with someone it's for, for them it's for life they are willing to love and protect their spouse for, you know, forever. For as long as they're in that relationship with that person. Um, what else? I think that they like to improve their partner's life as well. From this, I get a very kind of strong, protective energy as well. And I feel like they... They like to improve their partner's life as well. They don't just, they're not just in a relationship because they're in a relationship. They like to add to it and they like to give as much as they want to receive. Probably more, actually. So, yes, I definitely feel like they like to improve their partner's life. But they kind of expect the same back as well. I think maybe as well they might hold their feelings back. A little bit but it doesn't mean they're not there I think it's just they're not very good at showing their well I think they're actually better at showing their kind of feelings and emotions than they are at telling them but it doesn't mean that they're not there it's just <laughs> sometimes you don't even need to say how you feel about someone you can just see it in their actions um, and some people are just not very good at kind of telling their feelings they're just better at showing them which I think that um, yeah, or um, your partner. So now this is card number three, which represents the past. So it is the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel that in your past relationships, there might have been a lot of hard work that has gone into it. This card usually means hard work, pretty much. Um, I feel like that it could have been quite tiresome, a little bit too too much at the time. You know, when you put that much effort into something, it gets exhausting and it does feel too much. 
and um, putting a lot into a relationship and not getting as much back is not what you were looking for it's not what you're looking for in a relationship that you kind of give more than you take you want and looking for an equal balance something that's fair and works both ways and I don't think that's been the case in the past um yeah and sometimes that is the case isn't it but I think with the relationships past relationships and however many they've been one two five you can't you're always learn from them so I think I don't think it's been overall you know I don't think it's been really bad or terrible but I just don't think it's been great and it's made you learn what you want from your current relationship your future relationships and yeah sometimes what we go through can actually be better and better for us and help us understand and know what we actually want but that's what I'm definitely getting from the past it's been hard work quite tough not quite what you've been looking for not quite getting what you want out of the relationship okay on to card four oh, which is hard to pick up <laughs> it is the nine of cups now this card represents the present so kind of where you and your partner are in your relationship right now so there we go <laughs> the nine of cups so i actually really like the nine of cups card it's it's if you go by numerology as well nine is just before ten which is um you know like the end card the completion the end of a cycle card so nine's right before ten um so with the card I get the sense that your relationship is in a good place where you are both happy where it, you're both happy kind of where you are where your relationship is and what you're doing I think that you are feeling quite content happy and um, you both get in fulfillment that you desire from your relationship that every when we're in a relationship everyone wants certain things out of it and I definitely feel like you two are kind of on the right path you're getting fulfillment from the things that you want from your relationship I think you and your partner get on really well and have a lovely relationship I think it's one of them that when you look at a couple you can just see how much they love each other you can just see how happy they are um, and this card also represents um, passion and also a good sex life as well. So I like this card. Um, yeah, I think you, you and your partner are getting on very well right now. Um, everything that's kind of going the way it should be, mixing the way it should be. And yeah, it's really, really good. Really good. So our last card at the top is card number five and it represents the future and it is the wheel of fortune so i really really like this card um and i think it's great to come up in a relationship actually usually wheel of fortune comes up a lot in general readings or um career and money because it's about, you know, it's Wheel of Fortune, it can be about bringing in abundance and wealth and money and stuff like that, but it's kind of the same in relationship as well, so it means, you know, happiness, um, contentment, that you're going to reach your goals, your desires, that you've set together, and I can see you both having a very long and happy life together. Um, if there hasn't already been a big commitment in your relationship like an engagement or marriage or like a big step forward in your relationship a big commitment then I think that is I think that's going to happen pretty soon maybe starting a family or adding to the family um I can yeah it can mean a big commitment in some way um but I, whatever your goals are in your relationship it might not be marriage it might not be moving or children I just think whatever the goals are in your relationship you're going to get there it's going to be very bright happy 
content, there's going to be fulfillment, desires are going to be fulfilled and I can see a very long and happy uh, life for you and your partner, okay? You'll get what you want and you're going to be very happy together and it's going to be really, really good. This whole pile I think is really, really good. So if you've picked pile number one, I hope that it resonated with you in some way. If it did, please let me know. And I will see you all again in the next video. Okay, so pile number two. Okay, so pile number two. There are five cards in this pile. This is card number one, it represents you. This is card number two, it represents your partner. This is card number three, it represents the past. This is card number four, which it represents the present. And this is card number five, and it represents the future. So let's start with card number one, which is your position, you, your position in the relationship. And this is the strength card. So, straight away, I think that you are a strong person. I think that's a given for this card. You have an inner strength that gets admired by others. You are probably the stronger out of you and your partner, and I think you probably um, keep you, your partner, children, if you have any, going when things get tough. Um, and that can take its toll on you, but I think that you do enjoy having this strength um, to uh, look after and kind of protect people around you and others and being strong for them. But I can definitely see you hold others up. You're the one holding others up when things go a bit tough and a bit not great. Um, so you definitely hold other people up when they're kind of down. Um, and people know this about you and they say this about you and I think um, it may seem like people I think are taking you and it for granted but they're not, they know, they, they appreciate what you do, they appreciate your strength that you have in your relationship and the kind of power that you, you have between you and your relationship and you and your kind of family dynamic. So that represents you, your partner here is judgment so this is meant to represent your partner which I find a little harder to read as it's the judgment card and it's meant to represent your partner in a loving relationship so I think the thing that I'm getting from this card that your partner could be quite judging a bit nitpicky at everything kind of everything that's done is it's a bit a bit judgy a bit a bit nitpicky um kind of questioning everything why this why that why not this why not that um so i think that if this is the case you might bicker a lot because i don't think you can't be asked with that you know you can't be bothered with that that's not you, you just want to get on with it you know you can't really be bothered with nitpicking and the kind of that kind of way so I think you might bicker a lot about that um, and you don't like it when it's like that best thing to do is communicate you know a lot of people that are judging tend not to be great at communicating I feel like they just like I say they don't they don't really communicate or ask or talk it's kind of why this why that it's statements of things um so yeah I think like I think that um, I think that your partner might be a bit judging and, you know, I think that they're not great at communicating. I think your partner may be the same, which is frustrating for you. Um, but I don't think they're a bad person at all. I think it's just that some people have certain qualities that can be challenging sometimes. You know, there's always something with somebody, there's always traits somebody's got that are a little hard to 
to kind of get on with sometimes but I don't see this being an everyday problem at all I don't think this is like an ongoing issue that's that's there with even your partner or just your partner at all I think this is just an every once in a while thing that can still be a bit frustrating I don't think it's there all the time um, and sometimes having the judgment card and being a bit judgmental and a bit judgy is actually sometimes a good thing depending on the, you know, the situation. Um, I think they see a lot from other people's point of view as well when it comes to kind of big things and stuff like that. So it can help sometimes. So card number three is past, which is seven of pentacles. So I get really good vibes from this card. Um, I really like it. It's very beautiful. Um, it's lovely. These little kind of plant things that are kind of, to me, they look blossoming. They're quite big and full and kind of full of life and something. So I get a good energy from this card, good vibes. Um, so I think that your past relationships, your experience in relationships might have been quite good, actually. Um, this card is good to get in. Uh, like love and relationship as indicates a hard working couple trying to get to the goals they've set and um, there's also a nurturing energy here as well so um, that's really good um, I think so I think you may in the past have had a long term relationship before or a, a serious relationship that's been a good one and it just didn't work out you know what I mean whatever happened it maybe just didn't work out but it hasn't giving you any kind of bad thoughts or tainted love and relationship for you it's not you know it's done anything it's not done any bad um to your judgment of love and relationships um i actually think maybe in fact it probably done the opposite um you're more inclined to think you'll be able to get that again but with just maybe the right person instead of you know the person it was before and um, so i think this card is very bright and it's quite colourful and there's a lot of like growth and you know greenery and you know in it and yeah so I get that there's quite good good past experiences when it comes to relationship so let's move on to the present which is the eight of swords which I don't like this card as it is very dramatic for me actually it's very um I don't know it's very dramatic I don't like it there's a lot of pain I feel like in this card and that's to represent the present so uh, the eight of swords is not the best card to get when it comes to anything I think but especially love and relationship as, as it can indicate feeling trapped confined you know, not finding a way out of the situation, a bit scared, vulnerable. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. There's, there's maybe a bit of pain, upset here. Um, so I don't know if that is to represent your relationship going through a bit of a hard time right now, and you're not feeling very good, um, and are trying to maybe find a way to fix it or even a way out if you can't fix it. Um, there may be some kind of drama happening, a situation may be going on that is affecting the relationship. It might be affecting the communication in the relationship as well. Um, and this card is like this um, like creature. It has wings and it's got a face and it's barbed wire. And I kind of get from that that it's shadowing you. It's shadowing over the card. There's this little tiny bit of colour and hope there and you're trying to get to it but this thing hovering over you and it's just not letting you at all i don't think that's your partner but i think it's a situation that's affecting you and your partner um yeah i definitely feel that um and this thing it needs to go away for you and your partner to be able to get back to how you were and where you want to be it's the longer it, I think, stays, whatever the problem is, the longer it doesn't get sorted out, I think the harder it's going to be for you to break free and to fix it and to, you know, kind of go back to how things were. 
So let's move on to the future card and see what is to come. So the future card, we've got the Six of Pentacles. So this is a much better card to get. And as this is the future card, then, you know, no better time it could have came at. Um, so basically, there's good times ahead. The card is about giving and being generous in love and relationship. It can indicate like a really good balance uh, in the relationship. Um, so like a good, good balance between you and your partner, kind of both giving and receiving from each other. There's going to be kindness again. There's going to be happiness again amongst, amongst you both. So whatever, whatever's happening here in the present, it is going to go away in the future. Is very bright and you know quite colourful and a lot of giving and a lot of receiving happiness again. Um, so even though you're going through this kind of struggle right now. I think definitely keep working through it um, communicating is the key both working through it kind of both doing what you both need to be doing to kind of get to this future goal where there's going to be balance restored it's going to be it's going to be restored it's going to go back to the way it was You're both going to be feeling a lot happier and kind of this is going to be forgotten the goals that you kind of things you had in the past, the things that you want in a relationship, you know, they're going to come kind of flowing in the future. So keep that in mind. Um, if you chose pile two, then I hope this resonated with you in some way. If it did, please let me know and I will see you all again in the next video. Okay, so now on to pile number three. cards in this pile. This is card number one and it represents you, your position in the relationship, which is the Queen of Swords, which is an absolute beautiful card. It's one of my favourite cards in this deck. So, um, I feel like with this card that you are a strong-minded person, kind of independent woman. Um, and again, this can be read from male, it's just that it would mean there's kind of a high female energy. Um, and what I mean by kind of independent is that I feel like you love being in a relationship, a loving relationship. You're a really good partner in a relationship, but I think sometimes you might miss single life, kind of having that independence, a bit more independence, kind of can do what you want, when you want, um, but I think that you are very open and honest and, and good at communicating with your partner kind of about anything, um, so I think that's good, um, I think this energy may be an air sign as well, um, I feel like you are a strong person in your relationship and people may come to you a lot with their problems and you will listen and try to help them the best you can. I kind of get from this card, a mother nature type card, um, it's just absolutely gorgeous and even though this is a sword, it's a very kind of different sword, to me it looks like, it actually looks like a bow and arrow. Um, but I get a kind of mother nature, kind of people are drawn to you um, with this card, definitely. Card number two represents your partner. And here we have the page of swords. So with the page of swords, I get a strong kind of uh, male energy but a very young energy from this card as well. So it could be that your partner is young in age, or it could just be the fact that they're kind of young in the mind, maybe a little immature. And I think that they can be 
sometimes with kind of an immature mind it can be petty sometimes and start little arguments and disagreements that are over silly things that are irrelevant they don't really matter they're over silly things um but i think that's just down to them being a bit younger and a bit maybe immature i think they've got a lot to learn um maybe this is their first kind of real or serious relationship or long-term relationship so they're learning as they go along as well um everything's learning and if your first few relationships everything's you're learning everything really um so yeah they have a lot to learn um and i think you are the right person to kind of show them and tell them not what to do in a relationship but kind of what's what's kind of best and what's not best and the kind of things you do and the things you don't do but i also feel a lot of love from this card there's a lot of warmth and a lot of love and a lot of kind of giving as well big a big big loving energy from this card uh, i also feel so yep i think that's your yeah a lot of good energy from that card a lot of love a little bit of immaturity and silly disagreements and you know pettiness sometimes but there's a lot of love comes from this card it's very kind of gentle as well card number three represents the past and we have page of cups so we have another page card um this is also a younger energy again but as this is the is the past it is most likely going to represent you in the past for your past relationships so um obviously you're younger in your past relationships because they're in the past um but this card is quite a good card to get actually i think in love and relationships it can represent romance long happiness in relationship um sometimes engagements those kind of things so i'm getting that maybe you have been in a serious or kind of long-term relationship before um that had quite a lot of com commitment in it and i think although the relationship may have ended it hasn't tainted your idea of love or relationship you know it hasn't made you think oh, i don't want another relationship i'm not going through that again no 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 it's not done that at all i think you still have the same idea about love you still want a kind of long happy relationship all the things that you wanted before the same happiness and love i think you, you you still want but it's just with the right person do you know what i mean i think in the past you had what you wanted but it just wasn't quite right it wasn't quite with the right person so yeah i think the past relationships have been quite good actually they haven't haven't tainted any kind of idea of yours of relationships or love at all or you know partners either so i think that's really really good we've got this is the present card so this is what's happening right now and it is the knight of cups which is a lovely lovely card so this represents the present and it's all about love actually and kind of maybe proposals marriage a big a big commitment so i think whatever stage in your relationship you may be at you might be in the beginning you might be in the middle you know you might be like 10 years into your relationship i think whatever stage of relationship you're in i think there's definitely a commitment coming your way i mean you might be 20 years into your relationship um, and you might be thinking there's literally no other commitment that could happen we're married we've got a house we've got children blah 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 but it could be maybe you're renewing your vows it could be maybe you're moving the house it's another big commitment moving you know moving somewhere else so i think there's definitely commitment coming coming your way there um to me the cards are very magical and quite calm i think the colors are quite calm and i feel like it has a kind of wispy feel to it if that's a word like it's there's a very nice flow to it it's like i don't know like wispy kind of 
the clouds or I'm not sure but it's a very very pretty card and it has this really lovely feel to it a lovely flow um, and this card also represents um, like a very caring romantic relationship I think there is a lot of love here kind of a lot of affection um, a big attraction to each other and you're both, both kind of very loving to each other I think you've got very kind of you can see how kind of how you are together I think people from the outside if they look at you they'll be able to see the love and the affection and the, and the romance as well um, and the card can also mean that there's good news coming your way as well so that could be to do with um, you know the commitment there could be news about that it could be something on the lines of that but there is good news also coming so on to card five which is the future and we have the ten of pentacles which is a you know completion card so it's ten it's the end of um a chapter or a cycle and this card usually means kind of strong stability um security so i think that the future for you is very long and bright and you will have your desires in your life and relationship the things that you've been working towards and wanting will get and you'll be in a place of kind of contentment and happiness and you will feel very kind of um, fulfilled and your desires you know will have been made um, I also think that with this card comes tradition as well so I think that you're going to have a very homely family a very homely home full of kind of tradi traditions um, and kind of your own little traditions that you do and start as a family as well so I think this is a really good pile actually and I think the future card is great the ten of pentacles it is like it, it's the end it's the end of trying to get the completion card you've done everything you've needed to do to get there and I think that's a brilliant card to come up is a future card so if you chose pile number three and this resonated with you in some way please let me know I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will see you all again in the next video. Okay, so now on to card number four. Okay, so we have five cards in this pile. This is card number one. It represents you and your position in the relationship and it is the Six of Swords. So this card represents calm times coming. It's quite peaceful, the card. It's quite calm. She's kind of fallen asleep on a um, flying um, swan up there. So... Uh, as this mean, as this is meant to be kind of you and your position in the relationship, I think that you are a calming person. You bring the calm with you and you're very good at calming the mood when it's not so great. Um, the saying is the calm before the storm. However, in this case, I think it's the calm after the storm. The card usually means there's been a bit of a rough time. Um, or a difficult time um, so I think in this case and that you have been maybe involved or around of tough time and are getting calm again you know calmness is coming and the energy around you is getting calmer and you bring this calm and energy of yours to others and you bring it into your relationship as well which is which is really good this card is the Three of Pentacles. It represents your partner. 
So the Three of Pentacles represents um, commitment and hard work. So I feel that um, your partner works hard in the relationship to keep it what it is. They are very committed to what they do and what they love and they like to grow where they can as well. Um, I feel like they are good at talking, at not talking, taking you with them on their growth and like helping you to learn and to teach you as well. Um, they like to take you on their kind of journey but I think you work very well together um, and if this is a new relationship then it could be that you're both at the stage where you're you know learning about each other you're still learning about each other um, you know what you like what they like kind of back and forth and, and that's quite a nice time to be in in a relationship actually kind of learning and seeing how people work in a relationship I think it's quite nice yeah so I think there's a nice kind of peaceful energy here as well with this card it's very calming the colors quite calm you can see as well that there is a man and there is a woman and he's holding her up higher above him you know he's lifting her up he's supporting her and I think that's lovely and I think this is probably the case in your relationship. You bring the calm and peace, but he helps lift you up and keep you stable. That's his position, that's his job, and that's what he feels like is his job in the relationship. So on to card number three. This is represents the past, and it is the six of wands. So this is quite a good card actually for love and relationships as it means love, um, it also means stability and um, also kind of sharing that with others. It also means security as well. Um, the colour in this card is quite, the colours like a dull it's it's like a yellow tone to it there's a bit of green here green green but it's quite of a darker color than, than these it's very kind of smoky and darker but I don't think that's meaning bad times at all I just think that it's what can I say like a strong it's not all color, colorful and kind of roses and happy all the time it's a very strong powerful kind of feeling to it I think um, I think this is a good past card to have as well because I think that it says your past experiences with love have been quite a good one. Whether you've been in a good relationship before with like security, love, protection, um, some you know good success in relationships, um, or it could be that you've witnessed this with another relationship. So it could be that your parents or you've seen brothers or sisters or just other people's relationships like that and that makes you that gives you the want for your relationship it it makes you think oh, I want this for my relationship then I want that for my relationship this is what I want so I think the past experiences with the relationships whether it's your own or somebody else's is really really good um, but this is definitely a good card to have for a past card I think there's no like kind of bad bad past experiences that's coming up here anyway in this card. Middle card is the present and it is the Seven of Swords which is quite a dramatic card I think there's quite a lot going on in this card and it represents the present so I wouldn't say that that's the best card to have when it comes to Love and relationships, just because it can indicate deceit, it can indicate lies, and um, it can indicate some sort of um, betrayal. But it's not always, you know, cheating. I know when a lot of people when you say kind of deceit, lies, this, 
people automatically think to cheat. It might not be cheating. It could be something else. Yeah, it could be something else. Um, I'm not sure if this is coming from you, this kind of energy, this card, or if it's from your partner. Um, but I think communication is the key here to try and figure out what is going on, basically. Um, it may be someone is not being totally honest with their feelings and how they feel. So if this is this is um, you, then I think try and communicate better. If it's not you, then it could be your partner. So I would try and talk things through and see if there's anything that needs talking about and a big conversation to try and resolve something. It's very kind of dark and chaotic that card and there's a lot going on so I think there's maybe a lot going on in real life you know in the present and it needs fixing really it needs sorting out so I definitely need to have some sort of conversation and if it's you that's feeling these ways and it's feel, you know feeling like this then I would question as to why and try and figure out a way to change this up and kind of get it back to the way it was and better so let's see what the future card holds and that might give us a bit more of insight as well so the future card is the this gorgeous gorgeous eight of wands card so uh, i think this is a lot better to have in the future card than the present so this card kind of represents good news um, which is great good things coming your way they're coming in fast as well um, she's like blowing I really like this picture because it kind of reminds me of you making a wish so she's like blowing the little um, dandelions they look like and when I was younger if you blew a dandelion you made a wish and all the little seeds blew away and, and I like that that's happening on here so I think she's making a wish she's blowing just blowing the wish away for it to come true so I think it I think it will you know um so good things are coming in fast they're moving ahead um it can indicate something exciting as well so I definitely see things moving forward and a lot better than here things are progressing and gonna be a lot better and um, so I think whatever you know whatever is going on right now in the present will move on it will become good again um, really good as this card can indicate a rush of love as well that comes with it so maybe you're gonna fix your problems with your partner and then you're kind of gonna say maybe fall in love all over again get that kind of rush of love and excitement back it can also be um, a very passionate card so it can be kind of um, a rush of love that comes with a card in the sense of your relationship passion and also sex as well it's about you and your partner both moving forward together from now on which is is great so bear that in mind if top things are tough right now that is your future card and i think it's a brilliant future card actually so if you picked pile number four i really hope that you enjoyed this video and it resonated with you in some way and if it did please let me know and I will see you all again in the next video. Thank you for watching this video everyone. If you enjoyed it please let me know and let me know what you thought about your reading. Remember there is going to be another um, pick a card coming very soon about how to find love. So it's going to be a pick a card but it's going to be a how to find love spread for Valentine's Day. So I will see you all again in the next video.